Okay, so um, in this video that we are doing right now, I'm going to use a couple tour players here. And um, so the player on the left is, as you can see here, I'll put a line. You can see that the shaft angle coming down, okay, is a little bit flatter than, let's say, this one here. So you can see how the shaft is dropping back, pulling down. Now the reason for that you can see is that the, the lower body center pressure uh, went forward too, too quick. And then the arms have to pull down to reconcile that. Now if you look on this one, you can see how it's a little different look. And you can see how the hips and, and the shoulders opened and kept their inclination. So you can see the difference of these two photos, right, or videos, excuse me. And then it just keeps opening, and that's when, when you see this, comes down, twists, twists. All right, and watch the lower body here. You see how it's opening, clearing, like that. It's being pushed off that right foot at this point, okay? And that's kind of the difference and you can see the difference in what the club does. So um, that's really the difference on how the ground's being um, produced or how the ground force is being produced, okay? And it's purely independent upon the player, but we need to kind of make sure that, you know, what works best in relaying the mechanics accordingly, okay? Because we got to understand that we have to have enough power to play this game and also hit it, you know, far. So especially in today's Okay, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how the weight moves in the golf swing. I'm going to talk about um, what I was doing and what I'm currently working on. All right, so one of the issues in the swing that I would have at various times is that I would actually move too far forward too quickly. Left hip would move too far forward. The ramifications of that is that as it's moving forward, it stalls my rotation and I start to tilt back to lower the club down, uh, get the sweet spot low enough so my angle of attack is correct. So what happens, as I'm going too much lateral this way, I can't open up. So it stalls, right? So we've got a vertical, a lateral, and we've got a horizontal. And we've got to match those. So now I'm trying to, as I go through the transition, I feel as if my pressure stays back stays back and I'm rotating, the left hip stays further back for longer, the sweet spot lowers down, so what does that allow me to do? It allows me to open up, continue to rotate and push off the ground. So I'm, the club is low enough that I don't have to have too much side bend to the right and I can rotate and use the ground with the rotation and vertical because I haven't, don't have too much lateral. Perfect. Dana, you want to add to that? No, it's perfect. So, and what does that do to your, your face angle? Okay, so the wrist conditions, as I'm coming into the ball, if I'm too far forward, too quick, and I tilt, stalls, left wrist goes too quickly into extension. It's, got, it's headed that way, but it's going too fast. So it actually moves the sweet spot, thus going around to the left, and the needle stays out. So you've got the movement of the club is going too fast to the left, left wrist is going into extension too fast. So, as I'm rotating, this club is now lagging back, hips back a little bit, and as I'm going up, as I continue to rotate, I'm able to have the wrist conditions where the club gets thrown out, yep. but my hand path is bending around to the left. Yep. So my wrist conditions are in flexion, and they head to extension just after that, rather than too quickly into this extended position. That, that extended position moves the sweet spot to the left, and at times for me, the club face aims to the left like it pull draws or pull cuts okay. instead of a nice draw. Perfect. perfect. You want to add anything? Nope, that's perfect. Nailed okay. it. Go ahead and rip one. Just rip it. Good. Perfect. Alright. Okay. So 
your golf swing previously was directly affected by what was happening on the ground outside of the the fact that you changed a little bit about your lever system to boot right yeah. so um your old golf swing was um go ahead and go to four at the top and then run through what you used to do Yeah, so you would, exactly. So there's a there's a large amount of, I'm gonna hold this shaft in front of the camera. This is right side bend on the downswing. You had an increased amount of right side bend because the amount of pressure that you used was going towards the left foot too fast, okay? Now you're, I mean, you're hitting eight irons 185 yards, so you have a lot of speed, but what was one of the issues that you faced whenever that occurred? Uh, controlling the face. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that seems to be a kind of a topic with that, right? Now, the average amateur may not face this situation, but it's something that's interesting because guys are gathering a lot of data and information on the tour, but there's not enough utilization of that information to change the mechanics. Does that make sense? Yep. So um, it, it's interesting because if you put the amount of tour players out there, and I'd say, let's say we take 200 of them, okay? Um, they're going to be all over the board on yep. what their what their weight's actually doing. So um, you're a good example of that because you're you're a pro, you're a long hitter, and so what did you change? We uh, got a little more rotation off the ball, so I could shift my weight back, and then I could stay back longer and rotate more. Correct. Correct. Good. So go ahead and demonstrate that. <laughs> 